all right everybody welcome to your ninth bootstrap tutorial i'm mehul and in this tutorial we'll be looking at more on grids which we started looking in tutorial number three i guess yes so we looked at tutorial number three at that how bootstrap divides your screen into 12 equal columns and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how you can make use of that now grid in bootstrap is a very powerful feature to organize your content on web pages easily and nicely without any fuzz going around so to get started first of all we need a container now this container what would it do is it would contain the grid now this can be either a container or a fluid container and the fluid container what it would do is it would just restrict your width of the web page okay so now the next thing you need is a row in your container now this row what it would do is just like column divides your page in 12 equal parts all these row would contain would create a kind of grid would complete the grid and then it would provide some space for every element okay so ne you need a row and then what next you need is is a column now pay attention here div class call and this would accept two things kind of so all of these classes whatever you write a valid thing here are already coded in bootstrap okay so now what happens is this thing right here the first star what it would take is it would take the screen size for which you are programming your div to be now there are many screen sizes like that of a laptop or a tablet or a phone and for all of those different devices you would like to have different width of this div accordingly for example on a big screen you might want three divs right here to be of 33 33 33 percent width but on a phone you would like or each of those div to create uh, to occupy 100% of the width on the screen so to achieve that you can work here now to begin with we have something called LG which is the larger desktop versions and using that you can program for larger desktops the design for the larger desktops and then we have SM for smaller screen sizes like that of a phone then we also have MD and so on and so forth so let's first of all try with LG now all of this these styles would apply to a screen size if I guess LG contains screen size of uh, greater than 1200 pixels so if your screen size is greater than 1200 pixels the styles of call LG would be applied okay now one thing you need to know is is that I told you that bootstrap divides your screen in 12 equal columns so the third parameter what it is is it is the width of this div or basically the number of columns this div would take it could be either 1 or 12 or any number in between so let's say if I say that this div is 5 okay and I write this this is a really long text to see how long this div is and I'm just gonna repeat that a bunch of times and again I want it to be of length 5 now one thing you need to know is that these numbers right here in every row should sh sum up to 12 and the reason being is that each row no matter how many rows you have in each row the sum of all these numbers should be 12 because ultimately the all the width of all the columns occupied is 12 so if you have one with one columns right here then you need to have 12 now you can have these different as width you can have this 3 and this one as 6 and even this one as 1 and this one as 11 it's up to you it's uh, up to you you have to decide which one looks best for your web page 
for now I'm just having this these two for five and this one for two obviously since five plus five plus two equals twelve let's just reduce the text in this one and let's just check this out on the browser okay so we have got some interruptions from this navigation bar so let's just kinda get rid of this right now okay so now you see that this div is um, occupying these three divs are occupying the whole screen because I had this container fluid now what is happening is this if I consider the ratio of these three widths then these the ratio comes out to be 5 is to 5 is to 2 so if this is kind of let's just assume that if this is 5 pixels wide this is 5 pixels wide then this one is 2 pixels wide and if you see under the hood then you see that this the call LG5 contains a width of 41.6666667 percent and this is defined only for devices having a width of 1200 pixels so you see that thing plays an important part there okay now what happens if you are on a mobile phone now you want this to have a uh, your own width but let's just say if you want this to still remain at this ratio for around 760 pixels the width of a tablet now right now you see that this immediately falls to a separate divs because you don't have any style defined under 1200 pixels now for that what you have to do is you have to code for a medium version now for that just write call MD and your width the new width here now this style would be applied only when the device width matches this medium size this would not be applied for the larger screens so let's say if I say that this one is reduced to 3 this one is reduced to um, 4 and by doing simple math I guess this one is 4 plus 3 7 and 12 minus 7 is 5 so we need this to be 5 5 plus 4 9 and 3 12 so yeah that should probably work and if I reload this and resize this again so you see that when I bring it down to around 1190 pixels then the ratio changes drastically so previously it was 5 is to 5 is to 2 now this is um, what this is 3 is to 4 is to 5 now this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 now similarly this ratio is defined only uh, till 992 pixels I guess yeah so beyond that we have some other classes and then so on and so forth you can decide design your web page so that was a basic introduction to how grid works in bootstrap and how you can create grids now in future tutorials we'll be creating some more awesome divs and grids as well which would be a lot more complex than these ones so that's kinda it for this tutorial and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you liked